What's up YouTube? For this video, I thought I'd share a few outfit ideas on how I plan on styling these shoes right here. These are the Jordan 1 Taxis. These are definitely going to be one of my go-to sneakers for this coming fall. Of course, this colorway, I feel like it's just very fitting for the fall season this year. If you've been following my channel, you might have seen this video I did some time ago. I did a whole video talking about how I style yellow sneakers in particular. Yellow is actually one of my go-to colors for some reason. I really gravitate towards yellow colorways, and this is no exception. So uh, check out that video after you finish this one. And if you're curious to know more about my thought process, uh, in terms of how I style yellow shoes in general. For this video, we're gonna do a couple of outfits with these shoes, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, here's the first outfit. Very simple and pretty straightforward. Working from bottom to top, basically what I got on for the socks are some black crew socks. As for the shorts, these are the Nike woven shorts in the bright orange or citron colorway. And then as for the t-shirt, we got on a kind of a light wash dyed t-shirt from Target. You might have seen me wear this shirt a million times in my videos. At least where I'm at, it's still summertime given the weather. It's still not cold quite yet and the weather is still nice and warm out. So the summer fits are still a thing out here. So just real quick, my thought process with this fit. Uh, the reason why I went with black crew socks is that I do feel like the black crew socks look better with these shoes in particular because these shoes have the black tongue and the black laces. Going with the black socks just allows for the continuation of that shoe, at least from the front view. And so it just adds to the coherency of that appearance. Of course, there's no wrong answer with going with white socks as well. The, my thing with the white socks with these shoes though is that I feel like it's a little bit too much of a contrast and it doesn't flow quite as well. It's a little bit too much of a color blocking and it throws off the coherency a little bit. Again, nothing wrong with the white socks, but personally for me, I would prefer the black socks with these. Pretty much the whole fit is Nike'd out, so you know I have to go with the brand matching, so Nike shoes, Nike socks, and Nike shorts. As for the shorts, these are the Nike woven shorts. They're a little bit high-rised, I think the inseam is like 6 inches, but these are a great summer short. And just one more note, these shorts, even though it looks pretty close, it's actually not the same shade of yellow as the shoes. The, the shade of yellow here is actually a couple of shades off. But the thing I want to come across here is that it's actually okay to mismatch a little bit. So don't get so caught up in trying to be super matchy or super accurate with the shades of the colors that you're going for. A couple of shades off, you really can't tell a difference from far away and it still looks okay. It's still definitely presentable from a distance, so don't get so caught up in being very exact. A couple shades off, you'll be just fine. Alright, here's the next outfit. Uh, this outfit is dressing up the sneakers just a little bit. Just real quickly, I have some dark indigo jeans from Mont and Bao. And as for the top, which is arguably the hallmark piece of this outfit, uh, just a basic floral button-up from Marshalls. A couple of quick points here. In terms of this shirt, uh, you really don't have to pay a lot of money for a nice shirt. This shirt was literally $10 at Marshalls. Again, very cheap shirt, but I just like this shirt because of the colorway. It has little hits of yellow, blue, and brown, and I just felt like it fit really well with the theme of the shoes. As for these denim jeans, I've also featured these jeans in many other videos in the past. Uh, but I'll say this concept over and over again. The reason I like the denim bottoms for these uh, taxi ones in particular is also because of the darker bottom to flow with the darker tongue on these shoes. You can technically go with the lighter wash denim as well. Uh, my thing with that though is that if I had a bright top and bright denim jeans, I feel like the bright and bright would have contrasted a little too much with the dark shoe. I consider this shoe to be a little more on the dark side even though it does have hits of white as well. So in order for the shoe to flow with the bottoms, I think the darker bottoms just adds that flow and coherency. And then the brighter top just adds that little bit of contrast to match that little contrast of the shoe. Who knows, maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit, but I just feel like it works at least for me. All right, here's the next fit. This fit is a little bit out of the box. But what I got on is a pair of green denim jeans. And then as for the tops, I got on a maroon hoodie. This hoodie is layered underneath a dark grayish corduroy overshirt. I actually like this outfit for a few reasons. Reason number one is because uh, implementing some colored jeans is not something you really see often. The trick to using colored jeans in particular is that it's all about the hue of the color, not the color itself. So even though these jeans are technically green, 
The hue of green that they use is a lot more subtle, but at the same time it's a little dark, a little subtle, and I feel like it just flows well with the hue of the yellow on the shoes. So on the opposite side of the spectrum, uh, I don't think bright green jeans would work quite as well because it's a little bit too bright and it's a little bit too much of an eye catcher. With these jeans being a little darker, it just flows a little better in my opinion. The other reason I like this outfit is that it just implements a couple of different colors. Pretty much it's uh, red, yellow, and green all together. Not necessarily red, yellow, and green, but it's again all about the hue of the three colors. So a dark red, which is maroon, a bit of a dark yellow, which is like a goldenrod, and a bit of a dark green, which is like a forest green. These three shades, even though they're different colors, because the darkness of all these colors flow together, in my opinion, I just feel like it works. This gray overshirt being neutral just kind of adds another layering piece and it ties everything together for me. And plus, when it's colder, this is just something you just throw on and uh, keeps you warmer. So my takeaway with this fit is that even though these shoes are technically the standout piece of the outfits, uh, it doesn't have to go with yellow pieces. The other two outfits I featured had like the yellow shorts or the yellow shirt, but you don't have to wear yellow with yellow all the time. You can think outside the box and go with different colors and in my opinion, you just have to experiment with it a little bit and it might work. So don't be afraid to experiment with your colors. So I just felt like these shoes were perfect when it comes to the transition between the summer and the fall. This colorway was just very fitting for that transition and this time of year, and I'll definitely be getting a lot of wear out of these. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What is your go-to sneaker this coming fall? Or if you have these taxis in hand, how did you style them? If you made it this far into the video, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot, and consider subscribing for more content on style, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, check out some of my older videos here or here. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.